Now we'd like to talk about a couple different types of spinal braces. The first one we're going to talk about is the cervical collar. It's also called sometimes a Miami J brace. There's two different pieces to this collar and they are connected with two Velcro straps. The flat piece goes behind your neck and the front piece that has a chin cutout fits snugly under your chin. Then the Velcro comes from behind to the front. It should be snug enough to where it is giving you some support to your neck. We want you to wear this brace for about six weeks after surgery or until your surgeon clears you to take it off. You want to wear it whenever you're walking, whenever you're upright, especially when you're sleeping. You can take it off to eat as long as your surgeon says that that's okay. The next brace that we're going to talk about is the lumbar brace. If you've had a lumbar laminectomy or a lumbar fusion, this is the brace that you'll be wearing. It fits across your midsection and helps to provide support for your back and also compression onto your abdominal muscles. You're going to wear this brace for the first three weeks after surgery or until your surgeon tells you to take it off. You should be wearing it every time that you're upright, sitting, or walking. The only times we don't want you to wear it is if you're sleeping or in the shower. There is a right and wrong way to put this brace on. Your nurses will help you to figure out what is right side up when you're putting this brace on as they educate you before you go home. The brace fits across your waist with Velcro and then it cinches up from left to right with a drawstring that helps your brace to fit nice and snug over your back and over your stomach. Now we're going to talk about cleaning and caring for your brace. With both the cervical and the lumbar brace, you will be wearing these a lot over the next few weeks. So we want you to keep it clean. It will help you to decrease the risk of you getting an infection. If your brace is visibly soiled, we want you to take a clean washcloth with warm soapy water and wipe your brace down and then just let it air dry. If you can do this correctly, you will greatly reduce the chance of you getting a post-op infection. 